Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Did You Know? In this episode, we're going to be talking about cats. The physics of cats. It's much more interesting than you'd ever think. Have you ever wondered how cats are able to fall from immense heights and survive? Well, a cat has an entire technique, methods and evolved in anatomy which altogether increases its chance of survival. Let's start with its technique. As a cat falls, it twists and turns until it has its body belly down to provide a bigger surface area to slow down its descent. They extend their paws and get ready for impact. This is when the science comes in. It's all in the legs. Their legs are long, muscular and extend under the body rather than straight down like us allowing them to absorb the shock. Here's a more thorough breakdown. Now, here are the four perts of a cat's fall. Wow, that was dumb. Part one, the fore part begins to rotate as the waist flexes. The fore part then rotates through 180 degrees. Then the rear end rotates onto the fore end. Then the back becomes arched and the legs extend for impact or landing. The tail is circling for trim and if you don't know what trim is, trim is what an RC helicopter or remote controlled things in general use to adjust its rotation upon any axis. They use their tail as a sort of anchor to be simple. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to hit that like button now. Here's future fin to tell you about something else we're going to be doing in this video. Now, for the first time on Did You Know, instead of just telling you, I'm actually going to show you. This is Nala. She's a normal two-year-old domesticated cat. Now, I'm going to be showing you how this awesome sort of cat self-orientation, self-writing system works. I'm also going to be showing you how they land and how they poise their feet and how their feet absorb this shock. It's really cool to see it in slow motion. Here we go. Now I'm going to show you how these four parts apply to this slow motion clip. So, part one, she starts to rotate her forebody, as you can see in that diagram. And in part two, you can see now her forebody has rotated approximately 180 degrees. And in part three, now the rear end of the cat has rotated to follow the front, so now she's completely symmetrical. And in part 4, she's now geared up and ready for landing, her legs are extended and her tail is rotating slightly for trim. So, next time you come across a cat, know that it's more than just an adorable ball of cuteness. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Here's Future Finn to send you on your way. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click that like button. Maybe even subscribe because that always helps me know that you guys are liking the films I'm making. Make sure you comment down below what you want me to do next episode. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.